this. It's Vanessa from To The Brim. And I was just cleaning my horrendous area that was covered with just a m bunch of crap. And I found notes from my small business internship last summer. And I decided that I wanted to share with you something that I learned. One thing that was suggested to me is to have a kind of a long game and a short game. My example is that my long game is pottery. If you got a hold of me today, if you messaged me and you were like, I want to buy a mug for my husband that says da 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 da. This is what color I want. This is what size I want, such and such. And I went and made that mug tonight. You're not going to be getting it for a couple weeks because the process of making pottery is long. You make the item, you let it dry a little, you trim it, you make the handle, you put the handle on, you let it dry the rest of the way, which can take another week or so. Then it gets bisque fired, then it gets glazed, and then it gets glazed fired. So it's a long process. It's not an expensive process necessarily for the clay and the glaze. Running the kiln is an ent entirely different thing because it gets over 2000 degrees. Cost-wise, it's not expensive to make pottery. However, it takes two weeks. So it's not something that somebody with a small home studio is gonna make a ton of money on because or regular money because your just the process takes forever. Whereas candle making is a short game. When I get an Etsy order for a candle, I go downstairs and make the candle and I ship it out the next day. And so I have like a long something that takes longer and something that's quicker. And since we're talking about starting a candle business, I wanted to suggest to people because there's a shortage of jars, a shortage of wicks, there's all kinds of shortages that something that you could do to supplement your starting candle business is wax melts. And I know that it's a different kind of a recipe than making a candle. It's gotta be different wax. I purchased some wax melts on Etsy for five dollars for the same thing so these are the ones that I got on Etsy five dollars these are the things that I get at we, we all get these at Walmart okay the container is exactly the same I also bought those containers I think on Amazon I don't even really know and I got like there's at least 200 of them and very very inexpensive I, I don't remember how much they were but I wasn't like oh gee that's why are they so expensive if you can find votive or tart wax, I'm going to try the Pro Blend 650, and that's supposed to be good votive and wax melt wax. So I'm going to give that a try. You find a good votive and wax melt wax, and you can make a ton of wax melts for the same amount of money that you're going to make candles with. And so if you sell, if you make these and you sell them for $5, with free shipping. People are going to buy them. You're going to sell a lot of them. And you can use the same labels. Like see the labels on my jars up there? You can use, if you have jars and tarts, you can literally use the same labels on here as you do on that. It'll just, you know. Um, but if you sell four of these for $5 each, you're making more and the profit margin. These are nothing. These cost nothing. You're not using wicks. You're not using jars the amount of wax in here is laughable. And let's say compared to this, I see people selling these eight ounce tins, which are six ounce candles because they only hold six ounces of wax. But the six ounce candles for $15 free shipping, that's what I sell these for. I, I mean, I've sold multiples to the same person before, but I will usually only sell just one. Somebody will buy one candle. People will buy multiple different sense of wax melts because they're inexpensive and five dollars that's not a very big risk and so if you offer wax melts in the same sense or different sense than your candles it's a really inexpensive way to start getting sales whether it's on etsy or however you're going to do it and kind of bypass the whole shortage of jars shortage of wicks kind of thing and i'm going to do it myself i'm going to find the right wax. I, I'm going to try, I think I just said this five seconds ago, the Pro Blend 650 votive and tart wax because I have made wax melts out of my candle wax for myself and they're just like soft and they don't hold their shape. 
but I have one in my melter right now and the Sensro is amazing. I made some uh, mahogany and teakwood ones a couple of months ago and the thing lasted like, I would say over a week of turning the thing on every single night, the, the scent throw just wouldn't quit. So they're definitely very high quality and easy to make. And I highly suggest that, especially now with the shortage of everything, that people start trying out wax melts. I'm going to do it too. I'll let you know how it goes. And I hope this was helpful. Give it a like if you liked it. And I will be back with some more videos on small candle business. And think about subscribing. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. You know, like, when you put in an earring, you have to, like, poke a new hole in the back. It's so stupid.